All right, so this is a follow-up video to the previous one I did about Atomic Amps and some of the problems that I had with them trying to get a refund. So in case you ever find yourself in a similar situation, I did get a refund from them, and I'm going to explain the steps that I took in case you ever need to do something similar. So let's dig into it real quick. So just the backstory context, I had purchased a, a pedal from Atomic Amps. It didn't work out, and so I sent it back to them. I did some tracking on it and insurance, verify that they had received it, and I did everything I could to communicate with them to initiate the refund, and they weren't doing it in a timely fashion. And I saw all across the internet a number of complaints of similar situations, some where people had been waiting well over a year for products that cost over $2,000. I couldn't wait like that. I didn't have the time to wait for my money to be refunded. So first off, what I should have done is simply once I had verification that they had received the pedal through my tracking through the postal service, I should have just gone to my credit card and initiated the refund that way. And that would have solved everything. But I didn't do it that way because I didn't realize that was a step I could have and should have taken. So what I did do, because I tried to communicate with them, I couldn't get them to respond to phone calls or voicemails or emails or anything. So I reached out to a lawyer and asked for advice because it was not in a timely fashion at all. And he recommended that I go to my local county court. I fill out a small claims court application, which I did. And then after that, I sent an email to Atomic Amps with a copy of that application, along with a link to my Venmo, my PayPal, you could include Cash App or whatever. And I recommended, hey, we're not getting resolution to this refund. I know that you have the product at this point. Um, you have 48 hours to either initiate the refund on my credit card or pay me in full through any of these means, Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App, um, or I'm gonna submit this to small claims court to seek resolution. That's it, you know, nothing trying to be overly aggressive, just wanna resolve this as quickly as possible. Within 48 hours, I did get a response. They initiated the credit card refund and I got my money back. I wish it wouldn't have taken that amount of effort on my part. And I worry about all the other musicians who have been in a similar situation and didn't get a refund and are just kind of out. So hopefully this is something that helps. Um, and if you need other DIY musician input, subscribe, and I'll be sharing a bunch more ideas like this in the future. All right, be good.